I'm going to show you how to make a sliding Psytrance bass line with this reference track Outsiders and Sphera. Matter of fact, it sounds like this. And mine sounds like this. Um, I'm not going to recreate the kick drum because I've done it a few times now. Um, it's basically just a thud in Serum, D sharp, um, the key of the track. And I've taken the click, literally, and just laid it on top and then compression and a bit of saturation. Now let's get to the bass line. You're going to open up Serum and you're going to shape your LFO like this. And like that, we're going to create a side chain, send it over to your level, bring it all the way up, filter on, and um, we can bring this down to about 70. We can then automate it with the LFO and then bring it up like that just to get a little bit of movement out of the bass line. We could then with the EQ take out the excess lows because the kick drum is going to be providing most of the lows um, and um, the bass line is just providing rhythm. And we can take out the uh, mids mostly and the highs and we can leave it with that. Uh, this area is what you want to play with. I've added some saturation just for some fullness. It's going to sound pretty good. And then you can record that out. And you can see that it's sliding quite well. Uh, so there's my bass, there's my kick, and they sit quite well together. Let's hear them together. I'll get rid of all that and then duplicate this across. Solo and solo. Even if you've got a bit more space, you can do something like that or that. Listen. Just so it really gets that sliding effect, but you make sure uh, it doesn't clash with your kick. So let's record that. Sounds good, sounds good. Bang, bang, bang. That was how to create a sliding Psytrance bass line in probably one minute or so. Very simple stuff. Uh, if, you, if you utilize that, let me know. Send me your tracks and follow me for more quick toots. Bye.